Hey guys, it is me, Ali. I am back after a long, 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 long hiatus. This vlog is so much fun. Um, you guys get to see how my life is now, and I got to do so many fun things in this vlog and film my very first podcast, which I'm so excited about, and y'all better go watch it when it's out. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this vlog. It is just the NYC life, kind of what I've been up to. Moves May, so we've been making the moves. I miss you guys so much, and I'm gonna start vlogging more this summer and if you have anything you want me to talk about in like a specific video let me know because i'm open to it but yeah i hope you guys enjoy let's get into the vlog good morning vlog holy shit that's been a long fucking time been struggling i'm not gonna lie doing a lot of thinking about myself and my life. I actually started a new medication. Supposedly it's gonna help me with my mood swings and also the only FDA approved medication that helps with trichotillomania. Um, anyways, <laughs> gonna try and do a weekly vlog this week because I don't know, I'm, I'm feeling better. I'm turning over a new leaf. I want the person back that I was a year ago. I'm turning over a new leaf, you guys, okay? Just trust me on this. Enjoy this vlog, New York City vlog, week in my life type shit. Alley out for my messy ass crew. <laughs> Work, chilling at my temple smoke spot, but I forgot a lighter. I forgot a lighter. And I also low-key just posted a risky TikTok. A risky TikTok. I'm just gonna, gonna go ahead and address the elephant in the room here because it's like a freaking hippopotamus. Okay, obviously Alexa and I are no longer friends. That's where I'm at. And I started talking about this because that is what my TikTok was about. Also, we in New York, where recreational smoking is legal. Today was so uninteresting, and I'm like wearing the ugliest outfit. Yeah, I should go home. Therapy session tonight. So I have to like get my head right, write some things down, but then I'm like ready for the therapy session, you know? I don't want it to be like in one ear and out the other. Like I'm trying to like really learn some things, so we'll see. Okay, so um, update. This is what I do with my free time. I just be on Twitter live. My therapy session was good as fuck, yay. So I'm home and it's late and I open TikTok to see what's going on and bitch, someone recorded my video for harassment and bullying. I know everybody was interested in the tea. The only person who could have reported it is the person in question. I filed an appeal and it literally went back up because it's not harassment and bullying. This is the last I'm gonna talk about it. Not to get dramatic on this video, but like it really hurt me that it could ghost me like that after everything we've been through, after the way that I really loved her so much and I cared about her so fucking much. And I can't make one TikTok about my life. This gives me a little more closure. So, you know, it's like sad, but all i have to say about it but anyways enough talking about the bullshit guys have had enough drama anyways back to the vlog <laughs> hey guys it is tuesday i'm at work shout out to my lock screen um since you guys have seen me i've been in a grunge phase so shout out in utero nirvana oh my coach just gave me this food because he knows that i like never have food and it was really good so shout out to you tony not my dad, Tony. My coach's name is also Tony, but anyways. Thank you, today. I thought I had to work longer than I actually do, so I'm gonna go hang out in the park and then I'm gonna work out. Vlog update. We're with Tom in the park. Have you, you definitely been in my vlog before. Probably at like the deep pot show. Well, this is Tom. How would you like to introduce myself? Artist, curator, connoisseur, TikToker, vibe. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Jermyra <laughs> Kwan? I'm wearing the shirt I bought from Charlie's Depop today. It's really cute, honestly, I'm not gonna lie. No, it doesn't. And this is weird, but I'm gonna just fucking say it in my vlog. I put the shirt on and I was like, it feels like boobs have already been in this shirt. Like, like it's, it's pre-stretched. So I was like, oh my god, Charlie's boobs have been in here. So this is my new favorite fucking shirt. Slay. <laughs> 
forgot to update the vlog. I'm so sorry, but today is Wednesday. It's my day off. I went grocery shopping. We have all my terrible snacks here. So yay, I have food. Um, I was literally gonna vlog at the grocery store and like show what I get and I literally just forgot. So sorry. Um, but you know, today's been chill. Every time I have a day off, I'm just like, oh my God, I need to sleep. But I also like got cute and made some TikToks today. So that's fun. Let's see how my TikTok's doing now actually. Hey guys, it's Friday the 13th. I'm about to change and get ready for work not work ew it was like low-key raining so my hair got ruined but so kind of cute oh this is the fit let me show you the shoes boom my day is basically over no tattoo the it's blocked it's so gloomy outside look at that you see that fog anyways i want to show you guys my outfit today because it's honestly kind of cute boom 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 Bought these shoes off eBay a couple weeks ago and they're literally my favorite thing. They were like $20. Shout out to you person on eBay. Last year I got some new DC shoes, but they were honestly not that cute. I don't know why they don't make designs that look like the old ones. These are definitely like a 2000s. Already creased so bad, but what can you do? Best bait putty, puddle of mud. Wait, where's my necklace? Ding. Now you know what time it is. Catch you later. Hey guys, it's Saturday. We are at the park. Got my board. We're having a little solo dolo sesh. Um, but yeah, since you guys have last seen me, I started skating. <laughs> I'm literally a fucking skater boy. I can't do any tricks or anything, so I'm sorry to disappoint, but I love it. It's so fun. I saw this TikTok one time that was like, have not lived unless you're skating in New York City at night when the streets are empty. And I was like, T. It's really foggy out today. If you guys can see. Wow, it's like so ominous. I like the bird sounds though. Yesterday was so interesting. It was Friday the 13th. I didn't get a tattoo, but some cool things happened. Got reached out to by this amazing girl who I used to know from Depop, but now she works with Galaxy. If you guys happen to keep up with me, you would know I did a Galaxy live stream. It's basically like a shopping live stream app kind of i wouldn't call it a depop alternative because it is different there's like a whole different component but you can also just like shop people's closets and vintage and it's all secondhand and stuff like that moral of the story is she reached out to me about doing a podcast i don't want to say too much in case it doesn't happen but it is like a fashion themed podcast and i was like so honored that she even thought of me but ogs no ogs no who was really putting the girls onto thrifting right like right I'm not being a narcissist here, but anyways, I'm gonna skate around and show you guys my non-existent skills. Pretty tree. Oh my God, look who it is. Doesn't that just look so familiar? Well, it's just not ringing a bell though. Hey guys, it's Sunday. This is probably the most interesting day of my vlog so far. But I'm at Michael's. I'm about to get some paint. I've also, since you last seen me, been in my art bag and obviously been doing like street art and stuff like that. Like this right now, I'm already like, oh my God, it's so cute. But um, I'm gonna get some paint. So let's go. I'm so excited. <laughs> I couldn't resist. I'm gonna show you guys what I got from Michael's. Ah, Michael's haul. Ooh, I've been wanting to get acrylic paint to do like some painting. I don't know. My roommate Afshin wanted some. So I was like, okay, this shit's $15. I'm gonna go to Michael's and get it. And it was buy one, get one free. So I was already thinking about getting like two because you know I'm gonna use a lot of like dark colors. So I got two, we can share. I got paint brushes and two little um, palette things, one for her and one for me. And I'm so excited. Also, I have my Popeyes. Oh, also something fucking weird just happened. I was walking out of Popeyes and gonna walk to the bus stop. Somebody says, hey, and so I look and it's, it's like this man and I thought he was just like cat calling me. But then I look again and I'm like, he looks familiar. But then I just kept walking and then I was like, 
wait, he's too familiar. So then I walked back and I was like, oh my God, that's Joe, my doorman. Like I literally see him every day. I went up to his car, I was like, what's up? And he was like, what's up? And I was like, oh my God. But he drove me home. So I didn't have to take the bus home from Michael's, which was super fun. I'm in a good mood and I'm about to get painting. Not me serving right now, please. Talk to you guys later. Maybe I'll show you if I paint something. Hey guys, future Ali here, and I just realized I didn't show you guys any of my paintings. You know, I've just been painting for fun, so please don't be like, oh my god, those are so shitty. But um, I painted this Domo, because I used to love Domo when I was a kid, and the sketchbook was literally from when I was a child. So there was a picture of Domo in here, and I decided to just paint it. Hopefully some of you out there know who this is. Um, if you don't, you are definitely too young to be watching my videos, but that's okay, you can stay. This is definitely one of the ones that I'm more proud of. Of, just look at it like cropped like this but my friend took this picture right by his house and it was like low-key so haunting i'll put the picture right here so i decided to paint the picture and it's cute i really like this one i was really proud of it um and then i also oh, i haven't painted like since i was a kid so i've been just like painting pictures so i also painted this one based off a picture but i'll put the picture here so you can see it's just like inspo you know this one's just a random abstract one that i did with like the excess paint but it's still like fun you know this one is another favorite it's based off of a theory of a dead man album cover um if you have a dad who likes rock music you'll recognize this personalized it and added the 1999 tattoo just like mine so she looks like me this is flame here's another like backdrop one i did low-key matches my jacket but um you know just like random shit this is a seether album cover and low-key i did not finish this one because i was like this is so exhausting i was like i'll finish it another day so this is still a work in progress, but I'll, I guess I'll put the picture so you can see what it's supposed to be. I used to love watching Bob Ross, and one of my favorite things I learned from him is how to do trees and leaves. So that is what I was practicing here, and honestly, I really like this one. I like the background too. And then last, but certainly not least, actually, I don't, I think my friend Colin from high school took this picture, but I was asking my friends on Twitter, like, I'm practicing painting, send me pictures to paint. So my friend Colin sent me this one picture and my bestie Tara was like please paint this so I'm working on it this is another work in progress one yeah I'm gonna finish it and then I'll get back to you so that's just sort of all the paintings I've been doing in the last week um yeah I hope you guys enjoyed that little blurb hey guys it's Monday again um, honestly, I've been doing nothing interesting in my vlog, but I have some fun things coming up this week, so I'm excited. I look like shit right now. My mom just sent me this package, and I think it's like a purse she thrifted me, so let's open this. Guys, one of my biggest fears is like trying to cut open a package, and it's like a shirt or something, and you like cut the shirt when you're like opening the package. But let's see. Ah, this is so cute. Oh my god, I love Ooh. Oh my god, she sent me this Pokemon box too. What is this? <gasps> Guys, it's a Pokemon watch. Oh my god, this is so cool. Bruh, my mom is literally the best. So she sent this cute little Pokemon box and this purse. Every time my mom is at the thrift, she like sends me all the cute stuff she finds and she's like, do you want this? Do you want this? So I was like, I love this purse. I honestly don't have a lot of red accent purses, so exciting. But yeah, I'll get back to you guys when more fun stuff happens, okay? Good morning vlog. It's Tuesday. I'm on my way to work. I missed my stop, but that's okay because it's a beautiful day for a walk. It's like, oh, I don't know, but it feels hot. Look, ooh, this is cool. What's that? So interesting story about this. This is foreshadowing. I'll tell you guys that. I'm too lazy to explain right now, but foreshadowing. Hey guys, we're just gonna jump right into it. If you didn't know, which I don't even think I said anything, my day job is a really nice, fancy, private gym. Started working out. Can you believe this? People, can you believe this? This is so unlike me. I've been working here for like over six months now and I get all of the services for free and I get to work with a trainer. It's really fucking nice, I feel really lucky. And I thought I'm not gonna work here forever so I might as well take advantage of it while I can. And I'm learning a lot obviously because I've never like worked out or done literally anything like that before but um, my camera's about to die but I'm gonna try and show you some of the stuff I've been doing. But yeah, I'm gonna hit this workout. 
Watching this Amber Heard testimony while I'm working out, honestly don't care if this makes me like lose subscribers or whatever, but Johnny Depp is no innocent man. He abused Amber Heard. You cannot abuse somebody if you're not empowered. She was never empowered that entire relationship. And all the people who say, she's acting. She's acting. Johnny Depp has been an actor since before Amber Heard was even born. You sound so dumb. Watch any 10 minutes of each person's testimony and you will so easily be able to tell that Amber Heard loved this man and just wanted to help him. And the only times that she ever laid her hands on him were in self-defense. Johnny Depp is literally a drug abusing narcissist and you can tell he's vindictive as fuck in his testimony. But anyways, back to my workout. Some of y'all also may know that I dislike water. Allie Doubters. What did you think about that? Y'all didn't think I could do it, huh? Push-ups are the worst. The worst for me. Hey guys, this video literally doesn't have an outro, so I just wanted to pop in and say thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. It was definitely more of just like my everyday life shit, but go check out part two because that's where I do all the fun stuff and go to the party and film my podcast. So go check out part two, but I also hope you enjoyed this one. Follow me on Instagram at Ali.xx, TikTok AliXX. Uh, obviously subscribe and I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching and go watch part two. See you in the next video, but the next video is part two. Go watch. Bye. Um, it's gonna probably be Wendy's. Everything, everything else is the four for four. The only thing that's not is the junior bacon cheeseburger. Like they were playing on my downfall. Only me.